Hi, Scott with FDJtool.com and I wanted to talk to you today about disc cutters. Disc cutters are great tools. They allow you to cut out in soft metal these great round discs for your projects, which is a really handy thing to be able to do. A disc cutter basically consists of two steel blocks that are sandwiched together. This one's connected on the side here, leaving a slit on the, in the middle over here to slide your sheet metal in. Obviously, you're gonna have holes in there for your punches. We'll show you how those work a little bit later. Other models are still going to be connected. These steel rods connect these two blocks in place with your gap in the center. But this one has a screw in, in the middle. Some may have a leather or other mechanism, but what it allows you to do is allows you to raise and lower these blocks so that you can sandwich that metal sheet into place while you're punching, which is a really handy thing to be able to do. But really, no matter what model disc cutter you have, or where it comes from, or what it looks like, they all do the same job, as they cut out these great round discs neatly and easily for you, so you can do your projects quite quickly. So, why don't we show you how they work? When using your disc cutter, you're going to need several things. The first thing you need is a very sturdy, hard surface in order to do the work on. Some people use a steel bench block, some people use a wood block, others a polyurethane block. Me. I've got a jeweler's workbench and it was designed to do work like this on so that's what we're going to use today. You're also going to need a hammer. Don't use your claw hammer from home, not a good idea. Of course you don't really want to use your good jeweler's hammer to do the work either. What you need is a very heavy soft hammer to do the work. Something like this one pound brass hammer. The reason you want to use something like this is because you need something heavy, of course, to, because you're going to want to do the work in one solid blow to punch the disc out. Second, this hammer is going to take a lot of abuse, and you want it to take abuse because you want the damage like this to happen to your hammer, not to your good jeweler's hammer, and of course not to the punches or your disc cutter when you're doing the job. And I'll make those last longer, and of course make these last longer because they're not being abused. The other thing that you're going to need is, is to decide what type of disc cutter you want to use. The two basic types of disc cutter, or most common types of disc cutter, are of course going to be the kind that have the support screw in the center and the kind that doesn't. Now, the basic fundamental difference between these two disc cutters is this. When I select the size punch that I want to cut out with this disc cutter, 5 eighths in this, in this case if you're curious, is that when I take my sheet and insert it into the disc cutter like so, and I want to put the punch in place, I have to be very careful that this disc, the disc cutter or the sheet doesn't move when I whack it because any kind of slip will cause your punch to be have a little rough edges and you have to do a little extra cleanup on that. But so the less that it moves and the less that you jiggle it when you're doing it, the crisper uh, disc that you're going to have. Contrasting though, something like our disc cutter here that has the tightening screw in the center, that can actually help you in cutting out your discs. And the way that works is that I, again, I'll use 5 eighths this time as well, I'll insert my sheet into the disc cutter block like this underneath the hole that I'm going to use. I'm going to insert my punch in place and that's the one I'm going to do. This particular disc cutter allows you to tighten the screw down to hold your sheet in place and that's very handy because now you, you've got less worry about the sheet moving around than you did in the other disc cutters. This disc cutter also has these two support rods that keep these two blocks aligned. And because of that, when you tighten these things down, you get a nice, secure, straight hold on your piece of metal here. Now, if you want a little added extra security, a good way to do that is to take another piece of metal, the same thickness as the one you're going to cut, and insert it on the other side, sort of as a shim, so that when you tighten it down, now you've got a nice grip. You've ensured that not only these support rods are keeping your two blocks aligned, but you've got an extra piece of metal so that everything is straight, aligned, and secure, and you're ready to punch. Now when you're ready to punch, there's a couple things that you need to be aware of. First is you need to be aware of the way to insert your steel punch. 
This one's pretty obvious because it was designed to have a blackened end is the striking end. It has a rounded surface on the top here, like so. It also has this bright shiny end, which is your cutting end, which has very sharp, crisp corners. Of course, that's the hardened end, that's the one that does the job, and that's the one that you're going to insert into your disc cutter. Other models like this have are basically exactly the same. They've got your rounded end, they've got your cutting end, but they don't have any color differentiation. So you just need to be aware of which end that you're working on. You know, look for this rounded end, that's the part that you're going to strike. The nice, crisp, sharp end is the one that's going to do the work. Now I've got everything in place and I'm ready to go, but actually I'm not really ready to go because there's two a couple other things that I need to do. Of course, I'm always going to put on my safety glasses when doing anything like this. And second, I'm going to apply some burr lube or other lubricant. Basically the things that you use your saw, on your saw blades, your burrs, things like that. And the reason that I apply this to my disc cutter is twofold. First, it's a lubricant, so it's going to allow the disc cutter punch to slide through much more easily and allow you to be able to extract it more easily. Second, it's going to reduce the friction on that steel block and what that does is it gives your punch and your disc cutter block a lot longer life and of course that's what we all want. We want our tools that last, last as long as they possibly can, right? So I've got everything in place. I've lubed it up. I've selected my hammer. So I'm going to punch out a disc and basically I'm going to want to make one swift sharp blow. Not a lot of tapping, not at an angle. You want to bring it straight down on the top because anything at an angle or small taps that don't drive it all the way through are going to give you ragged edges and that's not something that you want. You want something nice, crisp, and clean like this. And there's our disc. Great. I think we did a fantastic job with our disc cutter. Disc cutters are great tools, they're easy to use, they're fun, and they're going to save you a lot of time. My name is Scott with FDJTool.com.